do a lot better with the new training ground. Signing wise, right? Actually, uh, honestly speaking, right? You don't even need to spend money. Just get Greenwood back. Oh Ooh. yeah, that's but my centre back that, though. No, I, I, for me, right? Unpopular opinion. <laughs> Welcome back to Yamcha Sessions VFO Very Fast One. Today is the, is, is it 12 a.m. yet? Not yet. So technically still 31st of May. Mm-hmm. So today, uh, Kap Lashwin, you will be hosting a very Man United special. <laughs> Let's go. How's the season, guys? <laughs> the, uh, okay, we can go one by one, but Kap, you'll be asking the questions. So maybe right. we go, we start with Yuren. So Yuren, how, how was the season? Overall, right, bro. Everybody said, right, United has the worst season Mm. in in the Barclays Premier League era. (coughs) But for me, right, honestly, right, I think the the worst season was under, uh, it was under Van Gaal at one point, bro. Because it was so boring. The Mm. gameplay was so boring. And then, I mean, although we finished with the FA Cup final, I mean, we won the FA Cup. I didn't enjoy that season at all. Like, literally, because the players we have, all these kind of things. Like. But honestly, if you ask me, right, I think uh, it, ETH actually did quite well. Okay. He did quite well with all the with all the setbacks that he had. Okay. I, injuries I is, say, was yeah. insane. Now. How many 60 plus injuries for the whole season, right? Yeah. 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 Joy and comment. No. Wait, so a rating out of 10 season? Yeah, it's quite low, la, but I would just, I think I'll give it a... Seven lah. Seven. seven. Wow. Six lah. Six point five lah. Six point five lah. Seven. Shit, man. Seven. Six point five. Six point five lah. Seeming a little bit mellow, a bit yeah. somber. <laughs> mm-hmm. mm. I can feel the tone of voice. Okay. Uh, for me. But okay. So. Mm. Okay. Yeah, you say. What were the good things this season? Uh-huh. Bro, I think right. With all the setbacks, right, we really had actually a lot of good moments, right? Like, I think beating uh, Liverpool to get into the finals, that 4-3 was... Semi-final, you mean? Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Uh, the semi-final was fucking amazing. Mm. And, I mean, we ended up... We kept it off with beating City. Man City 2-1. That, that Incredible. was the most amazing game of the whole I, season. I really didn't think we... Yeah. So, like, <laughs> FA Cup really... Turn everything yeah. around, bro. Like you literally turn everything around, bro. Yeah, yeah. Fair game. Fair right. game. John, how was the season? Um, I'll be very frank. I think out of the entire season, I watched maybe four full games or maybe five full games. So uh I watched up till us losing to Arsenal, and I was very depressed. I went to Mamak that night to watch it with Uran, and I said, Bro, we confirm can win. We were on a high, bro. I just want to point we that out. We played well, actually, mm. that match. Yeah, and then we it was well. one offside goal, I remember. Garnacho, also, yeah, yeah. Garnacho's offside goal. And I was, I was like, we were all celebrating. And yeah, then bro. when they caught offside, I'm just like, this is ridiculous. And then I could feel the entire like, energy just plummet. And after that, I stopped watching games. Oh. Yeah, good call. You think the players also feel, felt like that, that game? Definitely. Even the manager. And I, I if I'm not mistaken, until like, maybe three quarter or even halfway through the season, Eric Ten Hag, the manager, had still mentioned that Arsenal game. Which which game was this? Uh, bench match number what in the season? Uh? I don't remember. Oh, like it's less than 10. One. Less than 10. Like uh, maybe yeah. five. It's the first six. few. Was so yeah, pretty early on. Yeah. Yeah. And I, and, but bro, I can tell you, we were performing like we were going to maybe compete for maybe top four or maybe even the league, honestly. Uh, that confidence was on the high and then that Arsenal game really just, mm. just yeah. plucked us up. La. So for me, I stopped watching after that which I feel was a good call because every morning when I wake up, I look at the Instagram for Man United. I'm just like, no, thank God. A WhatsApp group. Bro. Uh, a WhatsApp group. Yeah. So for Therapy. context, right, we have a WhatsApp group called Man United Therapy. <laughs> That's how bad the season have been for the last. But to be fair, this this name was created, I think, two seasons ago. Uh, yeah. So we're still, in the, we're still in therapy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, like I think you mentioned, FA Cup really turned it around. So yeah. I think I didn't watch until we got into a final. I'm just like, look, I don't mind watching a final because you got here to a final. Mm. And I can tell, uh, yeah, maybe Uren came a bit late, but I was watching with Vic and Jing and Uren. Mm. So when I reached, uh, and, and Aaron, AJ, yeah, AJ yeah. is a Liverpool fan. So I, I reached the mama and I was so pessimistic. Also, I don't know whether you all remember the first 15, 20 minutes, it was rubbish, 
rubbish play. I felt like we were, what the fuck are you doing? But we were defending really well. Uh, but we, I, I could guess. see a few threatening moments like Bruno lobbing the ball to yeah. Rashford and making I guess. Sick. But honestly, it was very our season performance. Yeah. You know, expected. And then when Euron came, wow. straight away go. Yeah. The team was, was, it, it was the mistake by City and then it was on a high already. So <sighs> overall rating, I would give the season, uh, the Premier League, uh, is uh, probably a 3 or 4 out of 10. Hmm. But the FA Cup performance, I'll give it a very solid 7.5 out of 10. The FA Cup really saved the season. So you're saying 7 total, general, So divide 7. average 5. of... If average is 5. 5. Average? Average of 5 out of 10. But I just want to put this context out I saw this today, right? Since Klopp took over, since 20, I said 2013. Same yeah. amount of trophies. Same amount of trophies, bro. So Liverpool since 2013, Man United since 2013, we have the same number of trophies. 8, right? Mm. I think it's 8. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. perspective, right? Yeah. MJ, what about you? I think it was a two before FA Cup. After the FA Cup, probably a, I think a six or seven. Mm -hmm. mm. It was a two out of ten, and it became a six or seven out of ten. Yeah, because I mean, because of all the injuries, and then we have to remember the Jaden Sancho bullshit. Yeah, the, mm. Jaden bullshit. Mm. the Anthony bullshit. As well. Oh my god! Yeah, uh, yeah. Then the Anthony bullshit, and then people like Sabitzer was. Uh, went back, yeah. Region went back. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. And then Region important because he was the left back. Yep. And then our two left back, our famous Shoberto Carlos. Yeah, Shoberto and uh, Tyrell Malasia, who apparently is still alive. Uh, because uh, our where? fucking medical team had to advise ETH and say, bro, you know what? We can do without Regulon. No, and then not, one. not only that, so technically Lisandro can play left back, but he's also yeah, injured. He's also bro, he's injured, injured until we won the FA Cup. Then he can carry the manager. La. Yeah, say. yeah. <laughs> so we have that, okay. and then as as usual, Marshall being Marshall. <laughs> bro, don't hate on my guy like that. Yeah. Bro. Uh, you know that's him, and then uh, Rashford. Oh my god! What well, well, yeah, worst mm. performances of yeah. the season. Uh, Rashford, from my observation, so I also got nothing to say. <laughs> it's right. quite bad. Onana took a while to, to sort of yeah. get up to speed, mm -hmm. but overall uh, performance okay. I feel he he yeah. instills a lot of confidence in the back. Yeah. Uh yeah yeah uh, compared to the hair yes mm. correct yeah. Casemiro wow Varan is a coin flip right injured no injured you know yeah yep. but um, when he's present it's a good game I feel there's oh, yeah, a, there's yeah, a yeah. confidence sure. in the in the team also for sure it's the it's the it's the champ it's the champion mentality that's missing I feel mm. you know? but what went well you speak about <sighs> yeah about so for me uh, uh the obvious ones are FA Cup. Um, Ganacho bicycle kick. Uh, Ganacho and Hoyland. Yep. The, 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 the new trio, Ganacho, Hoyland, yeah, and Mino, Kobe Mino. Mino. That was good. Uh, towards the last quarter of the season, Bruno really uh, came, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, he came um, back, bro. Yeah, I think he's like five in five or something yeah, like that. Yeah, that is yeah. pretty good. Um, Johnny Evans. Johnny solid, Johnny right? Evans. Surprising, solid. surprising signing. And then- That's my boy, love, bro. Very solid. Yeah, man. Uh, but- I, I know this is your next uh, question. My player of the season is Diogo Dalo. Yes. Dalo? I, yeah. I think I have to agree with that, bro. And yeah. rating? Diego Dalo. For Diogo Dalo? Oh, nine. Nine or ten. Mm. Because because of our left back situation, he had to pay left a lot. Because they tried one Bisaka there and he was. Cannot, cannot lah, bro. No, not, not only that, bro. He played left back, right? And at a lot of times, right, he was. Uh, used as the guy to spark the, 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 count, attack. the counter attack. He cannot, yeah. bro. Yeah, bro. But you know, usually it's meant for the strikers like to do that darting run. Yeah. But somehow in this tactic with Ten Hag, right, he sees, he saw that, you know, Diego Dalo has actually a very good ball retention skills mm, yeah. from high balls. So like, I always see there's a lot of point of the game, right, where Onana is, he has the ball in towards the middle of the line. He see, He's trying to see if Diego Dalo is going to make that run. He's going to, yeah, he's point that, yeah, yeah, he's gonna launch it to him instead of Hoyland. But I mean Hoyland, Hoyland is, you know, he's always packed in the middle, right? Yeah. But that's why he takes the attention away from this deal deal. I mean this Dalo. La. So Dalo will always make that darting run and then he was he will spark that uh, it's like that run. overlap run yeah. type of thing. So la. he's he was he was a left back slash almost left winger. So at some times. Yeah. More importantly, point. I think he also tracked back more than. Yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. I think the tracking back is something that like a lot of the, the team is learning to to do. La. From yeah. what I see, la, right? A lot of like, you, like missing gaps, right? I think there was one uh, a video by, what's that called? The, the Athletic mm -hmm. or T4 or something like that I saw, yeah. right? Where there's this huge gap in the the right side. The rest defense, yeah. yeah. Is it left or right? I forgot already, now. 
But one one side Generally of the pitch. in the middle, la, we are very. No, no, it was, it was a side thing, and a lot of teams exploited that space because a lot of us would would heavily occupy one side of the pitch, and then the other side would be left very empty, and a lot of people would exploit that space. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so a lot of times that that we we got attacked in that side. I forgot which yeah. side. I forgot already. But basically, it was just one sided. Yeah. Right. And, and so how, happened, yeah. When when did this get fixed along the season? Bro, I don't think it ever got fixed. We, never got fixed. No, 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 it couldn't get fixed because we didn't have the personnel to fix. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah, and and Ten Hag, I think one criticism is that I, I think he was a bit stubborn. Mm-hmm. He didn't want to go for a low block. He still yeah. wanted many moments to play high block, and then. Yeah. But the problem is that the the defense cannot close the gap between the offense when they are pressing. Yep. So the minute the offense lose the ball, which event in a material, they, they or do. some a city will pass, you know, will outpass them. Yeah. Then suddenly the middle is just empty, and so you have the entire back four or back three sometimes just tracking yeah, back. Just tracking back. Yeah. But special ma- special shout out to uh, Harry Maguire. Yeah, that yeah, one also. Yeah. What a flip! After he dropped his captaincy, he's a new player, bro. We yeah, just basically Lester, made he's Lester Maguire yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. We just basically made a new signing. It's he's, crazy, bro. It's heavy, bro. It's heavy. The captain armband, right? Yeah. In United, right, is the heaviest duty, yeah. bro. It's like literally, you put on the armband, right? The whole stadium is yeah. eyeing on you, and they're expecting you to deliver on a daily basis, like on every, on a like every game basis, lah. So that's why when this season, right, Bruno became the captain, right? There's a lot of criticism, right? Mm. But I don't. I mean, of course, he deserved those criticism, but it was too heavy on him at some point. I really, yeah. I feel, bro. Okay, if you're if you're not the captain, right? Mm. Do you do you how often do you see uh, Bruno flinging his hand? I always saw it, like, bro. Yeah. I always saw it, like, actually. Yeah, you always saw it, but then you didn't give a shit. Like, no, yeah. I still. I I mean, I pointed it out, uh, yeah. but I I feel that you're right. It magnifies. Uh, it, it magnifies. magnifies yeah, but yeah, yeah. A player has the right. To but complain. is there yeah, yeah, yeah. is there no one in Manchester United that can handle this kind of pressure? But Bruno. I think I Bruno think is the only one. He's the right. best possible. Is it him or Onana, yeah, yeah. I feel? So he's done. La. But it cannot be Onana. He's too new. Yeah, he's for now. La, yeah. So yeah. the proof is that towards the end of the season, he 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 man up. La. I mean, I mean, mm. he didn't man up. He was always there. He performed. It's la, just that la. he performed. He's like, okay, away from all this fucking noise. Yeah. Mm. It's time for me to step up. Yeah. Nice. And then towards, you know, the FA Cup final, he gave a statement like, yep. you know, saying like, oh, I was approached by Tottenham. I was, you know, I was uh, oh shit serious yeah I was approached by Tottenham but I didn't even had uh, consider like consider at but all. he was a fan of United since yeah, he was a kid I, I mm. cried when United called me and then you know he was just playing to the fans like get behind in, us yeah get behind us one last time la. yeah right so like yeah. is this kind of thing like I don't see Maguire doing it I mean he he mm. has that captain uh, ability he has that leadership ability but more on the defensive side. But he's not as outspoken or as you as know, passionate carry, as yeah, carry Bruno. out that leadership as strong yeah. as Bruno la, I feel. To to me, right? Yeah. Bruno is the only option. No. If Bruno, yeah. if the guy was here, the guy would have been the option because right. of seniority only mm. Yeah. Not not only yes. not not because not because he's good at it yeah, la, yeah. Honestly, but yeah. he's either the guy or or Bruno la. Mm. But yeah. to me, right? Because now don't the right? It is by default. It yeah. is Bruno, bro. Yeah. There's nobody else that can take that role. Yeah. If you ask me yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, back to uh, hmm. are we still doing player ratings? A worst player? Uh, I gave my uh, oh so yeah, so worst, worst, worst. Uh, oh uh, worst player. Oh uh, worst player. This is quite hard, man. Rashford. Like uh, <laughs> I think Rashford. Uh, shout out, uh, you know, being one of the uh, worst. Okay, I give you my candidates and so I can organize my thoughts a bit. I think Rashford needs to be in conversation. J O T Y by the way. Uh yeah. What was it? Our joker of the year. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, Anthony are we all? Uh, is everyone agreeing that yes, Rashford definitely. is? Uh, yeah, just, so, okay, yeah. Yeah, just no, maybe we can combine this play. spot. Let, let me mention a few Fine. names. Then okay. we see, right? We, okay, yeah, we okay, see. Okay, okay. So Rashford has to be inside. Anthony has to be inside. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Uh, our good friend, even Casemiro has to be inside. Martial has okay. to be in there. Mas- I mean, Martial is always there, right, yeah. I mean. <laughs> Uh, no, I hope Rashford I, is not listening to this podcast. I, it's okay. Doesn't matter. Uh, I think there's a few more. Um, let me think. Uh, Mason Mount. Mm. Oh my god. Yeah. Right? The list just keeps going, lah, bro. Yeah. Mason Mason Mount. Um. Oh my god, Mason. Well, Mount. Jesus Christ. I mean, there's a lot that didn't turn up, lah. You know what? I I don't want to put Shaw inside, right? But. Sure. So because of the amount of games he don't play, he don't right? play. It is, he, he this is part of the conversation. He, yeah, part of the conversation. So. But overall, uh, yeah. overall, uh, for me, right, there's only one player. There's only Rashford. You know why or not? Because of how much I expect from him. Yes. Mm. You know, I, I, yeah, I, I just I just think that this guy, he he's from 
the academy, bro. You know, if you know the context of the academy, right? You are following the footsteps of David Beckham, Ryan Giggs, yeah. fucking Paul Scholes yeah. and shit. And mm. you know uh, how difficult it is to get through from academy to first team? It's so difficult because uh, when you walk through academy to senior team, right? You will see your fucking picture there, one, you know? Yep. Mm. Amongst the others that have graduated from the academy, you know? So when you walk through the hall, right? You will see all these people, you know? And yourself. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So uh, you're telling me uh, every time you walk through there, with your salary, uh, uh. and with your performance last season, which was really good, mm. you're telling me, you cannot even track back. Uh. Bro, I cannot. Yeah. This is something that is un, un- No, he's yeah, he's going through some mental hardship right no, now. No, bro, but don't you don't not you track know, him no, back, no, me. Yeah, I know, I know. So it's like, no, does I, he need like a counseling teacher or what? what no, what, bro, what he just needs I to, need man- to stop feeding kids. La. It's just <laughs> on the field. No, la, bro. You know, you, I, I also I wanted to mention this. I've been thinking about this for a long while. Actually, you can ask Yuren now because Yuren has known me since like he's the guy who got me to support Man United. Yeah, yeah, wow. yeah. Okay, all right. Okay. So right, to me, uh, what I loved about the club, right, when I started watching it, is the fire. Yeah. You always see a fire, bro. And from fire. academy team, uh, always got fire. Even McTominay uh, got fire, bro. Yeah. yeah. I have to say. Bro, fuck, fuck, dude. McTominay is scoring more goals than you, bro. Yeah, yeah. true. Are you... What are you? Yeah. Come on, man. And, and if that don't wake you up, what else can wake you up? Yeah, like, you're not even sure. tracking back. At least you try, bro. You know what? I think last season, what was that guy's name? Uh, the, 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 the fucker that works damn hard one. Sabitzer. No, he's a striker one, bro. Uh, uh, Wegos. We- bro, even Wegos is putting in more effort di- than yeah, Rashford this he season. He just can't score on it, that's it. Yeah, but at least yeah, you effort, can effort, see yeah. he put in effort. Even Falcao put in effort last time, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 It's ancient. But, but, to, but to me, right, is oh, all this God. on-field, right, I agree with you. I totally agree with you. But what made me thought he was trash foot, right, was when he was the off-field stuff. When he came late to training, oh, or he didn't, yeah, he didn't, yeah. or he didn't even attend the training because he was parting out in Dublin yeah. or something like that, bro. Okay, I mean you can do that shit, bro. Michael Jordan and all these kind of guys, they do that shit. But bro. they produce results. But they produce results. Yeah. And then I mean, if you go into the fucking camp, right, and then you know you tell yourself, bro, I partied too hard, but it's time to wake up, lah, right? And then if we see you perform, right. And we hear all- I don't even need to see him perform. Actually, yeah. I just want you to try. Or uh, at least try, la, whatever yeah. it is. La, try, then bro. we won't be talking about this. Yeah. We will never be talking bro, about Bro, even this. Paul Scholes go out for yeah. drinking. Right, you know? yeah. But you see, he try. Yeah. That's the thing. So it's just that- He's not a man you first need to admit that there's something that needs to be fixed. La, right? Bro, Rest honestly, it. right? I just want you to try, bro. Mm. Yeah. I just that's, want you to- I just want to see you try. That's, that's all, bro. You know why a lot of people don't like Sancho? Because mm. he's not a man United trier. He's not a trier, bro. He's not yeah. a fighter, bro. Okay. You don't see that Man United blood pumping through him, bro. Mm-hmm. You just go like, uh, okay lah. You, you know why Pogba didn't make it? He don't have the fire, bro. Yeah. yeah. You know why Bruno can can somehow like, wow, that's quite old style Man United, yeah. man. Because yeah. he got fire, bro. Mm-hmm. It's fire. something I can't, there's no figure to this. It's yeah, a feel. Bro. No, you, 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 you will get the feel when you watch pre like 2011. Yeah. Then you will know. Today, there are flashes. Mm-hmm. Hoyland has it. Yeah. You yes, know? Hoyland has it. Hoyland has it. Onana has it. Onana, Onana. has it. Tomine, you know, yes. Menu. Menu is getting yeah, it. You can I mean, feel it. Yeah, Garnacho yeah. has it. Gano- yeah, Garnacho. Yeah. You see, like you can see fire. Yeah, yeah, but correct, bro, correct. Rashford, I'm just like, I'm so disappointed. That, that's the, I'm not even disappointed about the result. Actually, I don't even care. Mm. I don't even care if you don't score, you don't assist, I don't, but I just want to see you try. Like, you know Rooney? You know Wayne Rooney? Fucker, bro. Every game, this guy is not even giving her, he's giving her 10%, bro. It, it doesn't matter what he scores. Actually. I, do, I don't some, care. Some, some season he doesn't score a lot, huh? but yeah. you know he like you need him on the field. Yeah, yeah bro. Yeah. Rashford is an out of possession. He's a non-factor actually. Yeah, yeah. And honestly, okay. the game is better when he's not there because it feels like we're playing one man down with him. I, I'll be very frank. Huh? The whole season, this season, every time he plays, it's like, fuck, we, we cannot recover. Yeah, and now that you mentioned, I think Anthony has done a better job. Yeah, because he Anthony run. Actually, I think Anthony, he, he's a joke. <laughs> but I think he's closer to that Man United fire than Rashford. Yeah, yeah. Yes, correct. Okay, I'm gonna cut it a little bit. So we'll mm. shift to best player. Uh, we talk about best player uh, for a while, and, for then, him, uh. and then yeah. and then we'll we will move on to the next. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, so, so best players, yeah. best for player Dalo, yeah. you. For me is Dalo, but I but I want to give a special shout out, bro. Mm. It's my new bro. Oh, okay, mm. of course. Be, yeah, because I think. It, as an eighteen year old to come into the field with it's all pressure, this uh, all this uh, attention on you and you hit that top corns in fucking old Trafford against Liverpool. Man. Bro, mm. That you, fucking cut yeah, in. You, 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 are born, you are yeah. born to you are born to play, bro. Mm. Bro. Right. Bro. Man. He's he's just he's I think Lisa it, Al-Gaib. 
<laughs> he's, he's straight. <laughs> Lisa Alga. You know he's a yeah. mix of Seedorf and Skulls. Yeah, yeah, bro. I feel so, so. And times four. Times four of that, bro. Ooh. I mean, we, we shouldn't hype him back. up too much. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because it's his first season. He just needs the what Bro. But for me, honestly, he needs a special shout out. Dalo is best player. But Mainu needs yeah. a special shout out. That's all. And, and do you realize his interviews, best. right? To your point. Do you realize his interviews? He's like, for 19, 18 year old, he's mm. pretty like, yeah, he's mature. Yeah, mature as fuck, mm. bro. Bro. Yeah. To me, best player of the year is Mainu. And he did, you I know, won't disagree. You, you know why? It's, it's not even a second. Like, I know, for me, it was actually Bruno. One. Mm. But when Mainu came in the picture, and if I'm not mistaken, he didn't even come in until halfway. Yeah. No, and when no, he came, no, yeah, no, bro, no, he, he, he did He really, was injured the early, the start of season. But, but when he came, he came in. Yeah, because Arsenal injured him, yeah, I remember. But when he game. came in, it's a new signing, bro. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. yeah like, yeah, yeah. you know? Yeah, but like when he came in, right, bro, I tell you, right, the, I think the, the, the turning point for me, right, when I met respect, is like he tell Casemiro to calm down, bro. Yeah. Ooh, a fucking 18 year old to a fucking uh, what, five, a time five time League. Champions League guy. You just, just calm, calm down. down. You calm just the slow tempo yeah, down. Just calm. I'm like, wow. Matt. Yeah. Uh, it's Matt. So I am to excited me, to see where, where this goes. La. Yeah. And if he one day holds. And captain, he's humble, bro. I think back, that's, the, that's the thing. He's got a very like. He's very skulls like because the passion is there, yeah. but he doesn't need to show it. Mm -hmm. That's the Manchester thing. lad. La. Yeah. He <laughs> just looks at. He, he, can, he can look at it and be like, organizing and be like, yeah. And there was this recent interview that they asked him, like, if you could dine with three people, who would you dine with? He said, Joe Rogan, Mike Tyson, and uh, I forgot one more. Then I was like, dude, this guy just want to get high. <laughs> 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 but okay, I think this guy mad composure for his age. He is mad mm -hmm. composure. I think Paul Scholes even said he's 19 times more of a player than he was at that age. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is crazy, bro. To me, that's mad. La. So, yeah. Okay, so we all agree Rashford as the worst. The, the yeah, worst. Yeah. And then Dalo Th and- uh, Are we all agreeing that Rashford is the worst? Uh, yeah, I would say so. Yeah, I, I, I tried to think of the other three that I mentioned. I think I can't really blame Casemiro because yeah. he got injured so then he's forced to play centre back. Yeah, exactly. But then when he was in midfield, he's a bit trash or so. But yeah. then <laughs> I feel like I, I feel like he has a good excuse la, right yeah, so yeah, far. Yeah. Uh, I think with uh, Anthony, some games they were you know he really put put on a show right yeah. uh, beyond just scoring goals right. Yeah. I mean the two one or two goals he scored la, right. Yeah. But you can feel like out of possession he really ran so it's not so bad. Uh, what was the other trash player? Uh, Mount, 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 I mean, Mount, Mount is just not Mount even there. How to judge him? You, right? can't, you can't judge no. him, la, but- But he, you know why yeah. I put him there? Because he did that Ronald, Ronaldinho tongue <laughs> shit. No, I, I can't, man, I can't. No, no but no. Anthony's you know fucking stare. <laughs> <laughs> that was then the song, bro. Oh. No, you didn't see the Mason Mount? You know that the oh. famous uh, Ronaldinho yeah, clip? Yeah, the, the one- He's stung, he's stung, he's like- He's mm, playing with his tongue and then playing with his- Oh God. Yeah, yeah. so he did that and then Mount did that. No, bro, la, our, I mean, let's be serious, la, bro. That one, uh, Mason Mount didn't really play. La, so yeah, yeah, we so, can't put yeah. him into that. Category. The United team is quite paria, bro. But Rashford, Rashford is, is really way beyond the rest. That's what I'm trying to say. Right, yeah. like he's so out there, like he's supposed to. I mean, we're not, we're not expecting another 30 goal season, but you know, Bro, at least do half you, of it. Like. I just want you to track back, bro. I, I'm not even asking for much, bro. I just want you to track back. And he's fast. I'm like, dude, you have the ability. You're not even using it. That's the thing. You're not even trying, bro. You know, last time, right? If let's say there's a counter attack, you, you will see Wayne Rooney in the back four. Yeah. Mm. He's even there before Evra, bro, sometimes. I'm just saying, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just saying, bro. And then uh, when there's a counter, right, he is back up there, bro. Bro, the. Greatest example is the DC United one, bro. Yeah. He ran all the I think, way You see that DC United shit when he was in the US, he played yeah. for DC United. Bro, I, I showed you the clip later. It's mad, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, haven't seen I, I feel since Wayne Rooney had left the club, big, mm. big gap. There's a hole, the black hole there, bro. Mm -hmm. And the way he was, is very bad. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's move on sure. to Eric Ten Hag. Oh. oh. Uh, comments, Ray, first but, comments. Let's get our first comments from uh, Ren. Ren. He's got to go. Ten oh. No, no, wait, wait. Let me. Ten Hag out. He's got to go and continue to be. Oh my man. god! Wow. <laughs> 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 Bro, he, he. Let me just tell you this, right? Uh, John Claude Blanc, the CEO of Manchester United now, mm. he came out, he didn't came, come out and say, but there's reports saying that he's backing Ten Hag uh -huh. because he has always. Uh, been monitoring Ten Hag even since his uh, maybe days. I think it was Bayern Juventus. days you mean. after Juventus PSG he was during his PSG day oh John Clark yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, okay so he was he was monitoring him and he thought he was an elite coach so mm. 
at the moment, right, from what I'm reading in the world of X, lah, is that did Sir Dave Brailsford Br- yeah. wants Ten Hag out and then a football expert wants Ten Hag in. Mm. That tells you a lot. Bro. Mm. Mm. That tells yeah. you a lot. I know Sir Dave, uh, Dave Brailsford is a sport expert. Yeah, performance a guy. Performance right? guy. Yeah. But why you hire a fucking football expert and you're not going to listen yeah. to him for? Yeah. So mm. like, like, okay, I go back also, right? Ten Hag, three finals, two two uh two cups. You go to any fucking club and tell me who who has that fucking record, bro. Uh, Pep. I mean, like aside from, <laughs> aside yeah. from all this, like Pep, the top yeah. four, mm. I mean, like we're talking about clubs that Possible. are str- struggling, uh-uh. struggling club or yeah. transition like, club. Or <coughs> transition <coughs> club. Yeah. <laughs> so like I mean, from and with all the setbacks, he still managed to deliver. Yeah, two trophies. Yeah, this kind of performance, I think he's elite, bro. Is with what, what we have? Okay, the thing is, right, a lot of fucking idiots out there, right? I'm sorry, la, there are a lot of idiots out there that say, hey, bro, you got no style of play. La. Tell me, bro. And when I ask the, that same, that very same guy, right? So what's your favorite style of play? Oh, fucking blank there. Oh, Pep, oh. La, Pep. What the fuck is Pep style of play? You can't <laughs> even fucking give me an answer, mm. right? Like, no, okay, I cannot say this, la, but honestly, we cannot see what style... Dan Hunk is doing. Yeah, right yeah, now. yeah. I think but, we are. But the, the layman, confidence right? that he has with uh, what he has right now, even when we're playing bad, gives me so much, you know, like yeah. uh, uplift. La. Like I know this guy is seeing something that we are not seeing. Possibly. That's, that's something I, I'm very sure of. And if, if he's in this moment where he has, first season, he has to play like the usual, uh, like sit back, counter, sit back, counter. Mm. Right now, is his this season is his moment to experiment in his in his style of play, mm-hmm. like to to actually progress the way he yep. he wants to play. So if there's bad moments, we have to take it But the thing I love about him is that he doubled down. He's like, oh my team is doing bad. We're sitting at eight. You know, should I stop playing like this shit and you know continue doing what I did last season? No. I need to build my team. I need to build the style of play that I want for my team. So this, this is something I see an elite manager has, mm. you know, and he 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 he's actually giving a lot of confidence to me. Even if we're in eighth place, and even if we're you know not we even if we didn't win FA Cup final, let's just I put that situation. Uh, even if we didn't win FA Cup yeah. final, I still want Ten Hag in because he deserve it, bro. That's he deserves bold. one more That's season. Bold. It's bold, bro. Season, bro. It's, I cannot feel the same. But MJ, you go first. Uh, yeah, I think a few things. So, uh, I agree with you a lot. Uh, the only adjustment I will make to what you say is that I think in some cases he has been stubborn. He has not responded to the injury crisis in the best way possible. Okay. How which, did he respond to the injury no, so, crisis? So, basically, he still wants to play play on the front foot and leave a lot of gaps. So, I understand that it's, it's so that he can implement his style and to right. create that, that thing. But... Yeah. I think some adjustments could have been done given the circumstance. I think if you have like 10-20% of your squad injured, like a key key member injured, I think uh, fine. But I, he had more than that, right? Half his defense is gone. He, he needed to do something just to to keep it going. Uh, but but that said, I, I, I'll tell you why I think Ten Hag needs to be in, right? So two reasons. The first is, let's just use Pep for example. Let's say uh, Nathan Ake uh, who's their left back? Bro, uh, I don't know. Vardio. Vardio. Yeah. Rodri. Haaland. Was injured for most of the season. Mm-hmm. Jeremy Doku. Uh, once alone. Asked for a loan. Right? And then your star winger last year. Who's their star winger last year? Grealish. Uh, Grealish. But Gr- Grealish also maybe got a problem this season. Uh, Foden. Uh, Foden. Play, uh, uh, let's say Foden. Your one of your graduates, academy graduates, not performing, right? Mm-hmm. Do you think he would have won the league? No. In fact, I don't even use all the examples. If Rodri wasn't there, no. do you think he would have won the league? No, bro. They wouldn't. No. That's exactly what Ten Hag experienced. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. exactly mm-hmm. what I did. Bro, that's- I can apply the same exact team thing to Arsenal. They got Havertz, Saka not performing. They got uh, either Sab- Saliba or Gabriel. Bro, the left back Zinchenko, White, gone. Yeah. What are you going to play? Uh, what's Declan Rice? 
Yeah. Not injured. What would we have done? Very would difficult. Have done the same thing. The, the position that he was put in this season was very difficult, especially yeah. with like, you know, expectations. Yeah. I think the, the <clears throat> problem is expectation. Yes. Because yes. exactly. The, the last season, we performed so well. And you know, because of last season, right, we expected to challenge, bro. Mm-hmm. I, I'm not going to mm-hmm. lie. Like, I think at the back of every Man United's supporters head, right? This season was meant for us to challenge. We were because like, of the players we got in as well. Yeah, yeah. because uh, this season, uh, we were like, wow, this is a solid fucking team, man. Mm. And we were like, I think we can, especially with Rashford's performance. And I feel like that's that's part and parcel of why I feel about how he is this season. Right. Because the expectations uh, were so high and we were just like, I think we can challenge. And we mm. got eighth place, bro. I'm just like, what the fuck? Yeah. And it's clearly because, right, they didn't try. And mm. you can tell Ten Hag is trying to encourage them to try, yeah. <laughs> but they are not trying. Right. I swear, right, the whole season, right, after the Arsenal game, right, is them not trying. Uh, yeah. and on yeah. top of the injuries, uh, by the way, uh, it's on top of the injuries, on top of all this shit, right, they're not even trying. So imagine Rashford, right, I don't think he was injured. I think he, he played like at a least- A few, yeah, yeah. A 30, few games. At least he got 30 games, I think. Yeah, but he got at least 30 games, but they're fucking not trying, bro. I'm just like, dude, what the hell, man? Bruno, you can tell he's trying. Mm. So for me, right, when I look at it as a whole, I'm just feeling like expectations is what led to people thinking that Ten Hag is the one that yeah. is not in. And honestly, right. you you see uh, insults, co- insult yeah. comments more yeah. than praise but, comments. But also. to your point about the expectations, <clears throat> I, I said there are two reasons why I backed down. The first is I told you the injuries mm. and all that, right? And he achieved what I achieved. The second thing is that the biggest opponents, right? The biggest obstacles and nuisance to United, right? Wasn't merely the players. Wasn't, of course, the rival fans and the media. Or, or like the the mainstream media, it was actually our ex players. Yeah, mm. like none he, yeah. of them back and how. Yeah, yeah. Mm. which is so disappointing. Now, he obviously kept on saying that he had an injury issue, which Pep himself agreed, right? And everyone saw it. Oh yeah, but you're playing for Man United. That's not an excuse. Okay, first of all, that's your ego talking. Yeah, right? exactly. Right now, you let let us take that aside. You know, school history has been eleven years since we won the league. Okay, now you you put yourself in ten hugs. Oh, what you do? Yeah. What you do? Everybody's injured. Mm. Right? Your, your, your 300k a week uh, a winger yeah. wants to go back to his old club. You get all the injuries you want. Yeah. Your 30 goal a season And they striker. forget, you know, this, this actually Neville, right? They forget, you know, Neville, Keen, all forget, they were managers at one point, you know? Yeah. yeah. They forget, you know, so easy. Because I think, honestly, it's media. Like, this one's the mm. shit. Like, yeah. They were lucky that Ferguson yeah. 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 That's it. Yeah. Okay. Last question. Moving forward into next season, mm. right? Any predictions? Any advice? Advi- wow. Advice. advice. And advice. Any one player sell you think buyer. that you can bring in oh. that can change things? Wait, okay, we have to sell also, right? Who, who to get rid of? Sell it? you. We know you're selling Rashford, right? No, la, you cannot sell Rashford. <laughs> he yeah. bro, cannot sell Rashford. No, uh, okay, I have a 50 50 on that, but no, but uh, sorry, b- before we go in question, one more player that I should, I think we should add into the, to the, to the trash D-Y. camp yeah. is uh, uh, Christian Eriksen. Oh, Eriksen is, but he's leaving already. Right? He's leaving? Yeah. No, I know he's leaving, right? but I, I feel like uh, he, he, well, he didn't he's perform. Deep, I didn't like, even know he's pitching. still there. Like, yeah. I think he's just slow already. Like. Oh, yeah, I feel like slow. he has not. Yeah. But he's like a, in his 34 or something. Yeah, yeah. No, he's 31. No. Oh, no freaking way, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think it's 31, 32. But he has uh, experience, uh, heart, heart attack, and he, pa- he passed out oh, mid, yeah. mid game, la, so, you oh, know, man. give the man a break. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But he's not, obviously, Rashford, Anthony, that kind of trash, la, but I think he's, he's for me, he's stuck in that list. Uh, this okay. mm. wait, wait, we keep it. I want to start with MJ and then end with yeah. uh, okay. Aaron. So the question is uh, sell moving one forward one, into yeah. next season, oh. any advice? I, I, what what should Ten Hag do? What can Manchester United do? Uh, well, I think the first team they need to really uh, improve is the freaking medical team. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. So, yeah. Uh, the big question I have, if I'm like, so Dale Bracewood or what, uh, Jim Ratcliffe and all that is, how did we get so many injuries? So, yeah. the, the only element, the only fair criticism on Ten Hag when he compared about the, ma- the, the, the whole med- uh, situation with injuries is, okay, great. Like, yeah, yeah, it's true, right? You are the coach and you're, you're in charge of coaching, but what in the world is going on with the medical team? How can it all yeah, happen? Get to that point. How, yeah. it, how do you like yeah. get to that how, point? You, you, like, is it too many players? And I, I, actually, I, I'm not saying I have the answer, right? It may not be the medical sport. Maybe it's just happenstance. All of the players yeah. know so happen. It cannot injury, be, bro. But, One whole season is ridiculous, man. But no, there's a case to be made because Lisandro never had that issue. 
Uh, if I'm not missing a mount, I am not. So, not but sure what's about what's the what's the pattern? Would they get injured doing what? During game or during training or during sometimes their partying some, some or what? Mix up. Sometimes mix. training. Also. It's sixty plus cup. Right. It's sixty plus injuries. You know. <laughs> yeah, and thirteen different centre back pairings. You know. Yeah. Like yeah. don't they have a solid like? Oh, you know, last time right when you you name a Man United defense right, it's like yeah. Vidic Ferdinand. Okay. Yeah. But then you like yeah. sometimes Evans, sometimes Smalling. You know. Let sometimes them come. Jones. Yeah. Ah, uh, but this one ah, uh, I don't know, bro. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I think we can't. You can't get an answer. Also, I, honestly, I, you can't get an answer. It could be just unfortunate, like yeah. events. They're like, oh, sprained ankle. Yeah. Oh, hamstring pull. And mm. it's, it's it's all like a domino effect. Or like, if yeah. one player is out, then the other player is out. Then you have to use the other two fellas to like increase Substitute, their efficiency yeah. and increase their. Maybe start, Manchester their, United their never pray to God. They also get injured. Wow. Wow. Uh, Jesus Christ. Never mind. Okay. So okay. Your, your one is improve on the medical thing. Right? Yeah. So that's, that's the first one. Uh, then the second thing is replace Varan. Mm. Uh. We, we need to fix that. Mm. We need a backup for uh, uh, Hoyland. Okay. Um, that's one. We need another left back. Well, I, 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 would, I would operate on the assumption that Shaw will not play half the games. That If I'm if I'm the management or the guys in charge in yeah. transfers, I will assume Shaw is half a player. One yeah. signing, who would you pick? Yeah, one signing. Ah, uh, there. Oh, actually, all the priority you said lah. What's your priority? One signing. You prioritize one. If I had to pick one, it would be centre back. Yeah. Any that, that Everton man? guy, the Jared Braithwaite. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Uh, but I I've not kept up with like the wider thing. Mm. So yeah. Uh, one thing I want to add on the signings is I I'm actually okay with the sell Rashford. You know why? Because you still get good money and Mbappe just left. Yep. Yep. So I think there's a slot that PSG might want. And I think you should just <laughs> you know, recoup the money and then just buy uh young players with good yeah, while like, you can yeah. like, recoup the money while yeah, you can. Like. Yeah, because he's like pick no more 26, 27, he can mm. fetch for the best price. Mm-hmm. So you sell him maybe hundred million, I don't know, 70, 80 million, so you take it really. You wait, you you Appalling. wait. You can't get this guy. John, next. No, you go, you run first. Go, you run first. <laughs> I'm not saying I, I want him out. Lah. I'm just saying if the right offer comes, we should let him go. Yeah. First of all, my advice, right, is for everybody who's watching Man United next season is to tone down their punditry level, mm. right? I think a lot of people are being too critical of uh, like Ten Hag, especially like his style of play and all this kind of bullshit. We, if, I mean, we are there's a reason why they are football experts and we are not lah. Mm-hmm. So I just ask everybody have a little empathy with be, the have man. Have empathy and just be patient lah. Because I don't want to put you know like I don't want to be comparing Sir Alex and Ten yeah, Hag They are mm. so far away lah. But from what I understand is Sir Alex Ferguson finished 13, and he also won an FA Cup and then it spring off to something yeah, great. Around, huh? Yeah. So yeah. like, like. The style of play, what what do we know back then? It's like just four four two only. Right? Sometimes it's it's not just a style of play. It's also the players giving their all to the manager. Mm-hmm. So it's what ten, that's what something Ten Hag didn't really achieve with all the players that he had. Mm. I think there was maybe about sixty to seventy percent that was behind him. But I feel there was a lot of players that a lot of pressure, not, especially when you don't perform. Yeah, like, bro. there was mm. just not. Yeah. And bro, this guy is like a mad genius, right? He's like a scientist, right? He's just trying to get everybody to understand his plan, right? And then those idiots, not idiots, I don't want to call it, I mean like those players that don't execute. Makes him look bad. uh, Makes him look bad. So like he he needs, his overall goal is to get the players to execute to his tactics, Mm -hmm. to his uh, style, whatever it is. If he does achieve that, I think he will do great things. Then number two is that we need, uh, like I agree with uh, MJ, we need a proper centre back. We need a very, very fucking huge centre back. Like almost a VVD style centre back, you know, like- a Any bad, player in mind? I mean, Jared Brandway is quite nice, but I, I'm thinking of this, uh, this uh, French defender named Yoro. Wow. Oh. Some, some, I think like Real Madrid- club, uh? Uh, I think he plays for Leon. Oh. So like he he's very imposing. He's like a Saliba la, basically. Mm. He's just another Saliba. La. If we have Saliba, I'm fucking happy, bro. Saliba, Saliba is and like, be, Bro, <laughs> Saliba is like the real Ferdinand of today, bro. He's just super calm, so composed. He he knows how he his ball playing skills is like amazing. Mm. 
he has never ever in I mean in uh, any but you'll fetch a lot of money watched, yeah bro in any game that I watched of him right I've never seen him got nervous he's like he's his composure he's so cold he's cold bro mm. so like I think we need a fucking solid fucking solid centre back then on top of that I think we just need to be patient like that's how I watch watch how it pans out final comments Oh, for me, uh, I feel Carrington needs to be overhauled, need to have a proper training ground so that your medical team can also do proper... It's happening already, I think. Yeah, it's happening yeah, already. Happening. Right. So I think it's in the right track. I just feel like your medical team needs to do a lot better with the new training ground. Mm. So it's very simplified. I feel like that. Signing-wise, right, actually, uh, honestly speaking, right, you don't even need to spend money. Just get Greenwood back. Oh, Ooh. yeah. That's but my... But centre back, that, though. No, I, I, for me, right, unpopular opinion. He's free. Okay? He's Man United. He's so talented. He's almost minor talented but striker. Mm -hmm. And honestly, he will galvanize the team. Because right, you'll be like, a talent comes back, starts scoring, you're like, fuck man, am I really not performing like this guy? But Rashford unfollowed him though. <laughs> I know. But that's the thing, right? If he comes back, Rashford up. Rashford, confirm. Or, no, no, no but Rashford is a winger. No, but Rashford is a, is a winger technically. So I think yeah. he will look at him and be like, fuck man. Yeah, I gotta keep gotta up. Gotta step up. Right? And then not only that, up. I think it's, it provides competition to Hoyland. Mm. So it kind of like helps each other out because they're both left footers and I feel like they vie for the spot. So I think it's a very, very good like opportunity. So it hits multiple targets. La, that for, one me move, la, yeah. for me. For me. I, I mean, centre-back, centre, uh, you know, all this, like for me, I'm not up to date with the market. I just know that you're missing out on great talent here. It's a new signing. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Him coming back is just such a steal. Such a steal. I've never seen but, a player like that in my life. Be coming back, Percy, bro. Will he be coming back too early? No. No. He, bro, there's a whole... He's linked to Atletico. He's linked to Atletico. Linked, but not confirmed. But I'm, I'm just saying, <laughs> this guy, I've never seen someone so talented in being a striker since like Van Persie time. Aye. Honestly speaking, like, this for yeah, me. He's, he's a Van right? Persie. I've never seen a player like that for so long. And he's so young. And he's a Man United Academy. I'm like, bro, the guy, right? He's marrying the woman. Lah. Let's take him back. Yeah, lah. bro. Yeah, it, so if you know the context, then you know the context. Uh, <laughs> a, a, a tangent to that, right? Do we take Sancho back? Uh, no, not for me. You? No you fire. first, bro. <laughs> I, 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 no, I, I, I would say I'm, no. I'm very iffy about it, bro. I'm seriously iffy about it because, okay, if Greenwood or Sancho, of course Greenwood. <laughs> but, <laughs> there you go. Uh, but, but, thank you for watching the podcast, bro. <laughs> no, 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 I will get real. But, but, Sancho, but, but okay, in the event that Sancho actually in the summer calls up ETH and said. Bro, I'm sorry. I fucked up. I'm really sorry. I have the fire and the hunger now to perform. Just give me one more shot. If he backs Ten Hag and Ten Hag says no, then I'll be a bit sad. Lah. But I mean, if he, Ten Hag bring him in and if there's, uh, I mean, if he really wants to try out and show he's, his hunger. Honest, honestly, I think he's wasted space. Lah. No, I think so. He will... He will perform if he if he changes his mindset. That's all I'm trying you to say. You know the challenge with Sancho, right? For me, is not necessarily his talent and you can make the attitude. case that no no, no no yeah yeah but you could i would say even if you can fix the attitude and you can somehow fit into the system because i feel like his play style doesn't suit uh United as, well. as much it, it's better than uh certain players uh, it's better than cristiano for example yeah. in terms of start play style i think even if you fix that there is one big issue which is his pay one of the things that Ineos yeah. needs to fix uh, yes. yeah, 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 is yeah. actually the pay scale. Yeah, bro. That's it's cool. out of whack. Because of him, it's out of whack. Yep. Right? Imagine How much is he getting a week? 300. 350. 250, ah, something like that. Big lah. So, I think on that basis, either you renegotiate a salary yep. or kick him But they're on a the cut. Ineos is on a cut since the takeover. Mm -hmm. They have been trying to readjust. They've been like sending out like voluntary uh, res resignation so far in the club. Mm -hmm. So, knowing that this is the route and they want funds to fund players to come in, it's impossible he'll come back. Honestly, mm. la, that's that's what I think. Yeah. For me, unless until he lower down his ego and he will not, he will not. Yeah, go. he will not. He will not. Don't He's performing at Dortmund, so he won't. Yeah. So that's un but yeah. on that on that note, I think Ineos will also artificially jack up the commercial revenue. <laughs> they should put here mm -hmm. Ineos, and then they should just whack the revenue mm -hmm. up. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, They should just pay more money and don't care because that's what City did. So we should be doing it as well. But not to the players, la. No, like, no, no. The, yeah. So uh, you mean? Jack up the commercial Com yes, yes. revenue in the club. Right? Yeah. Correct. So then we can uh, uh we can change like how we look at transfers and we can pay. Because mm. you know when we use the overpay, we, it's always relative to another another club. But no one ever argues like, oh, but it fits the budget because no one even cares about the budget. Mm -hmm. 
anyway, they don't ask themselves what is the revenue of the club. Yeah. So I think if they if they drag that up and then they fix the pay structure, so people still get get the lucrative deals. But you know what United need? They need the second team, right? The first 11 is pretty good. We need the second 11 to push yeah. because City has that, right? Yeah. No Doku, yeah. that matter, got the greedy. Depth, the depth, we right? need some depth. Yeah. Correct. So to, to create, what you want is well-paid, but Compet- but competition, compet- as competition as well. So you want yeah. like two teams. Greenwood, I feel bro. like the best teams in the past always had that yeah. two of them. So you need to bring them in yeah. and you need, to, you need to pay top dollars. The problem is last time is, let's say you got two players, three quarter of the budget goes to one player and two one quarter goes to the to the guy behind him. Now we need almost equal, 60-40 or 50-50. Yeah. For that, you need money. And uh, because United is not in the big competitions, uh, Therefore, the revenue is going to take a hit, and so they need to jack up the commercial revenue. Which but on, honestly, it's also very difficult because you don't have Champions League, so you don't exactly. have Champions League. You don't have the, the, the revenue the, will drop. Mm, yeah, you yeah. don't have pool for players because yeah, a lot yeah. of players will be like, "Why should I join?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So to me, realistically, you should just get Greenwood. Yeah, <laughs> no, 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 for sure. That's <laughs> that's part of it. But I don't think even if you get Greenwood back, it's going to solve a lot of things yeah. because our defense is the big, but it's a big challenge. Free. Yeah. Okay, closing out. So. About a five or, or six rating mm. on this season for Manchester yep, yep, United, yep, yep. but hopeful, hopeful moving forward. Hopeful. All right, guys, like, hey, comment, yeah. subscribe, oh. and love you long time. Peace. Cup, thanks for wearing the Man United jacket. <laughs> <laughs> Although you're a Tottenham fan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thanks for sticking around, Nick.